SSC disconnect enable on. Or pump control on. See pressurized vehicle lock tank. SSC hydraulic pump control on. The fact of the matter remains that we're not tourists in this country. It's time to unpack. Dodgers uh, were probably my first love. Now, when I say Martian space, there is not a sign saying, you know, welcome to Mars. The answer to is there life out there maybe starts with how did life originate on Earth? Joining us on the program, Dodger announcer Steve Ryan. Uh, you know, I have a little crooked nose because of uh, Milner. I never fixed it. Um, you know, I finished the defense of my um, PhD dissertation and we went to a Dodgers game to celebrate. We were playing the Mets. I was sitting on the outfield with a beer in one hand, hot dog in the other hand. So Milner hits this... Uh, foul ball, and then the ball hits me right on my nose and bounces all the way back uh, on the field. ESPN, it is I've been following the local uh, teams ever since I moved to L.A., which is like 30 years ago. The years have gone by so amazingly quickly. I can't imagine that I've been in the uh, U.S. for 44 years. Am I supposed to finish this by a certain date? You do have a visitor coming in. Many of my colleagues, when they were a kid, when Apollo landed, it made an impression on them. Oh, you're meeting with her for 30 minutes. They uh, then, always uh, knew that they wanted to be an astronaut. An office meeting. You know, it's good, but it wasn't my story. My story is that I, you know, came here, I wanted to be an architect. And I soon find out that I didn't have the talent for it. I went to school in Midwest, which is altogether like a different country. The first year when I was freshman, I had a 4.0 grade point average. Then, second year, I discovered girls. Uh, it was just like, wow, you know, that's what life is all about. And uh, my grade point plummeted. Good times, though. I, I really didn't academically excel until I got to the graduate school uh, at USC. And you know, I would have loved to be a, a professional athlete. But, uh, you know, just like poker, uh, you have to play the hand that you've been dealt. So I went into engineering. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory, a sprawling 80-acre research and development complex in Pasadena, California. Scientists and engineers were racing toward the same... So I want to, uh, Rudy, first show you uh, this spacecraft. We uh, work on three dimensions or axes. One of them is all the missions that we do for solar systems. In fact, it discovered Venus's thick, hot cloud cover and retrograde rotation. Then there are missions that look Very far good. beyond our solar system, places where we can't even send robots because they're so far away. It is basically a star nursery. And a third axis, some people would say more important than all, is to look back down at our own home planet. Some of the questions that we're asking, they're so fundamental. Are there other Earth-like planets? And if there are, you know, is there biology on it? Near and dear to my heart, Size-wise, the right scale of the, the two rovers that we landed on Mars in 2004. That was the time that I was managing the, uh, the, the Mars program. Three, two, engine ignition, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with the Mars Exploration rover. I remember the night of the landing. So this is where it all goes down. That's where it all goes down. It was the first time in my life where I have actually heard my heartbeat. It was a Sunday. 
And we're all gathered in the mission control room. The moment that they said, you know, we have landed successfully, all the emotions of, uh, uh, you know, many years, four or five years, you know, it just, there was an outpouring and I felt that my eyes were welling up and I didn't want to make a fool of myself on CNN. So I run for the corner out of the sight of the camera and there I run into the project manager who was similarly disposed and, you know, and we hugged and uh, it was a very special moment. When I go home over the weekends, go play with my uh, nieces, and they slap me uh, upside the head, you know, that's the way they keep you grounded. We were watching the uh, rovers landing the first night. Oh, girls, I don't remember how old they were, but they could also watch it, and they were all excited about seeing him on TV. I won a game, finally. It was, it was a pride. But it's also, okay, so what? He's done it before. <laughs> no, it's not, you know, you get used to it. You take it for granted. He's just my uncle. There is a generation that has been born here, but there is our generation who came here and grew up here. We're in Westwood Boulevard. This is, yes. this is an amazing area, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you can walk around here and think that you're in Tehran. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I lived in Shiraz for um, my first 12 years. I got my, uh, my weak point here, Zulovia or Bamiye, I guess. My parents uh, separated when I was a child. Uh, I was uh, four years old. My father, he was a man of the world. You know, he was uh, traveling constantly. He was quite well off. I actually didn't see much of my mother uh, at the beginning because my father, you know, didn't allow visitation to happen. So I had learned from childhood to make the world around me myself because the traditional family unit was not there for me. This is going to be the next rover that we send uh, to Mars. In, uh, we're going to launch it in uh, September of 2009. It takes about a year to get there. I fully believe that if we can find a context for our being in the universe, defining and finding out whether there is life elsewhere outside the Earth, that might be just a fingerprint that will define us as a civilization. I love Iran. Right? I mean, that's where my roots are, um, and it's connected to an ancient civilization, one of the oldest civilizations in the world. That intangible, unifying, healing power that space has, that we are united in our humanity. On the other hand, you know, I've spent two-thirds of my life in America, and I love this country. I'm Iranian, I'm American. You know, the connection cannot be severed. When uh, we landed on Mars, I came to work for something that I was completely unprepared for. I must have had 2,000 emails from all over the world from Iranian expatriates uh, that uh, they were just proud of the moment. I'm sort of an emotional guy anyway. You know, sometimes, you know, we get so wrapped up in our world uh, and we find conflicts to you know, fight each other. And you pull back and you start looking at the earth and you, know, you see it just as a little speck. It just completely changes your perspective and you, know, you just sort of want to hug it and take care of it. And to me, you know, it's sort of like uh, scrambled eggs. Once you have scrambled it, you cannot separate the yolk from the white. So that's me. You know, I'm scrambled egg, you know, I mean, some Iranian-American, all sort of woven into one. <laughs>